And you're new here? Yes. Well, Are I you hope filming? You, I hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry? Are you filming? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do not want to be filmed. That's, that's yeah. kind hey? of your problem. I, I, I said Don't touch. From here. What happens from here is I go and I'll generate my reports and everything like that. You'll receive a summons to court as victim, witness probably, um, for assault and battery. And you'll have to appear at a certain date and time at Pittsburgh District Court. So they'll just. She like, is like, I have no apologetic. Idea. If she understands that's that what different. she did was wrong, Absolutely. then she doesn't have to lose her job to. and her livelihood. Because that's now she's under investigation, pending criminal charges. It's her first day. She's under the 90 day probationary period. Her whole life is screwed up. Absolutely. Yeah, I would we're like not to. looking to screw up people's lives. No, I honestly, just like. don't want people being assaulted for I, no reason. I don't blame you. And I really appreciate you guys actually, you know, giving them a chance. Yeah. Holy smokes, guys, that's crazy. This lady sees us filming, first thing she does is go hands-on. Officer collects all the information and immediately has her charged with assault and battery. Then we find out that she's not from this country. She's here seeking asylum. And I gotta tell you guys one thing. Like Patricia Pacheco in Connecticut, she knew what she was doing was wrong. She knew she was gonna assault me even though I was allowed to do what I was doing. This woman didn't. We offered her a chance to apologize, which I never do. I've always said if someone puts their hands on me, they're going to jail. Because if I put my hands on them, I'd be going to the same place. And I guess maybe today my worldview changes a little bit because it's her first day. That's 90 day probationary period. They can terminate her without cause. So she comes here escaping tyranny from one place to come here and lose everything in an instant. We should be about activism. We should be about education, and we should be about holding these people accountable. And we did. And we gave her a break today. And I hope she learns from it. And that's the reason I stopped here today. What's going on, guys? We're at the Fitchburg City Hall in Fitchburg, Mass. She's like, oh no, the auditors are here. I'm, I'm all set, thank you. Appreciate it. Do you mind if I use this tissue? Could I use a tissue? Oh, I could just reach, it's no big deal. Thank you so much. What'd you get? Special tissue? Good. Oh, tissue potatoes? Yeah. Perfect. I'm all set, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so my wife passed away, right? And, huh? Yeah, and, um, so I, I'm on like a fixed income, and they told me like, well, you know. There's nothing I'm gonna film over there. This guy's wife passed away, so I took a walk.
I'm okay, just taking a look around, thank you. First Amendment, how? Yes. First Amendment who? Is that? Well, it's just, just explain, she's new to City Hall. So oh. she, you know, Is that me, am I the guy? I don't know, I don't know. No, I'm just a friendly guy taking a look at a beautiful building. Oh. Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh, auditor. It's just like, that's a coincidence. That's great. It's great that you guys are, you have such nice people that work here. Yeah. Thanks so much. What, what's your name? Um, my name is Jackie Cronin. Jackie. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. What do you do here, Jackie? I'm deputy auditor. You're the, the big chief. No, nope, this is the big chief. I think that the big chief would say that you're the big chief. Right? Sunday. <laughs> Most days. Yeah. And you're new here? Yes. Well, Are I you hope filming? You, I hope you enjoy it. I'm sorry? Are you filming? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do not want to be filmed. That's, that's yeah. kind okay. of your problem. I, I said don't that. touch my shit. I said that's assault. I, do, I said I do not get, want to be that's filmed. That's assault. I don't care what you want. Step back. That's assault. Go back into my office, please. Thank you. Okay, so she's brand new. So that's fine. Crazy. You can call someone now. We don't commit crimes. I'm she not, does. I'm not calling anybody. It's her first you can call it's someone. Her, it's her first did you? Did you? So it's her first day, so she can assault people? You just saw it. She just literally grabbed my stuff. I don't care. I, I want someone here. She's got a problem now. So let's get someone here. No, we're not getting anyone here. You're oh, not yes, we are. It. There was just a crime committed and in your you, presence. You call the police and do it. Okay. Thank you. Sounds good. We'll do that. What's your name? I'm Calvin Brooks. I'm Calvin. I'm not mad at you, Calvin. I understand. Okay. And I just... So I'm, I'm, not, you I'm not mad at I'm you either. And I'm for a little understanding of where... I don't understand I don't assault. Know, I, don't even, I don't even know her name. It's my first time in this building. I didn't walk in the door and start grabbing you or your stuff, did I? I didn't. So why should we, like, there's no understanding crimes. We come in here peacefully and exercise our rights. We're not assaulted because of that. Had he defended himself, you'd be calling the cops right, right. now. Right. If I, if, I, if, I, if I defended myself, would, would the police be on right? their way? Right. I'm not, I'm not going to go any further with this. No. All right. Okay. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll just give somebody a call. Up to you. Yeah. Up to you. Because when someone assaults somebody, you know, we don't. In fact, why don't we go to the, uh, the city manager's office? Where's that at? There is no city manager here in Fishburg. Well, who's in charge of the city right now? The mayor is in charge. So where's the mayor's office? Third floor. Third floor. All right, we'll go there. We'll check in with the mayor's office. And we'll have someone come down. What was her name? We're going to get her name right now. There you go. Had you defended yourself, they would have immediately... Called the cops. Oh, of course. She, she puts her hands on you. Let's go to the third floor. That's crazy. 
Let's go to the third floor. So women can touch men, guys, here at the Fitchburg City Hall. I want her name. I want her address. We're going to be we're going to be doing all sorts of records requests here today. All sorts of stuff here today. The mayor's going to make some time to chat with us right now. So women can lay their hands on people, but not the reverse. Interesting how that goes. Not down with that. You know what's funny? Right before that happened, she was explaining to her that they're First Amendment auditors. Interesting. Yeah. <coughs> We're going to take her job. Got it. Right now. So what, what did she, how did she assault you? She grabbed the phone and she grabbed my wrist. Wow. No. Alright, I'm not No one's here. Convenient. Let's figure it out. Excuse me. Hi. Sorry, can you get someone from the uh, the mayor's office? We were just uh, assaulted downstairs by one of your staff. So I'd like to speak to someone. Oh, sure. Hopefully. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sorry to interrupt yeah, you. No worries. I don't think there's anybody there, but let me get our executive director. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> Guys, I just paused for a second because there was uh, someone taking care of some personal business over there, and I'm not having them on camera, so... I'm just kind of hanging out in the corner here, waiting for someone from the mayor's office to come chat with us. So. Must be nice. The mayor's gone for the day. Now we're going to figure this out. He's going to figure it out, or we're going to figure it out. Here we go. Hi. All right, so we'll just grab the police. Wait, yeah, we just call them over for you guys. Are gonna come meet you? Here oh, perfect. Okay. So we'll just go downstairs, right up front. You can wait here or downstairs. It's a completely. Which way will they be coming? Because um, I want to point it out where. Through the front door, probably. Okay, we'll we'll head out down there. Okay, Thank sure. you. You're Thank welcome. you so much for your time. Can I get your name? My first name is Herman. Thank you. You're welcome. Downstairs. It's her first day, so we can assault people. Yeah, you can assault people as long as it's your first day. <laughs> it had been her second day. Yeah, well, hey, you know what happens on the second day. And she better not be employed for a second day. There's going to definitely be some follow ups here. Oh, for sure. She's not going to get paid by the people. Have they come in yet? So I'll just wait right here for them. I'll just wait right here for them. Oh my god, in and out? Jesus, love in and out. That's so far away, in and out. You went to California too. Yeah, no, the shirt said in and out California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. I just looked at it because I said, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking you. Panties. That's crazy, guys. I'm gonna pause for a second so I can show Banana Rana what happened. I'm sorry, I wasn't. Guys, so I'm out in front of the city hall. See, I didn't call the cops right away because I don't, I don't like to call the cops, so I didn't. I was going to try and see if we could figure it out without them being. Give maybe give her a chance to apologize. I didn't really decide what I wanted to do yet, um, but we were looking for the for the mayor's office, and they already called called the police. So I was waiting here for them. Guys, look, two cruisers just drove by me. Not to respond to the call of a city official attacking a journalist for no reason, but to go somewhere else, maybe to lunch. So apparently the mayor's office called the, the cops. Um, I was pausing to maintain battery but it's about 15, closer to 20 minutes later now, besides two cops driving by us to do who knows what. Uh, we're just still still waiting here. All right, let's see if this police officer's here to solve crime today. 
or if he's gonna drive right past me. Yep, he's here to solve crime today. Hello. Not great. So we were uh, walking around, taking some video. People were like super, super nice. We started speaking to like the deputy uh, auditor, the deputy chief auditor, whatever her name is. And uh, the gentleman that worked in their office, there was another employee with them. Nice conversation, they're answering some questions. Uh, she immediately puts her hand up like towards the camera. So I back up a little bit and I say, stop. And she said that we weren't able to take pictures of her. We were not allowed to take pictures of her. And then she actually grabbed my camera and like my hand like right here. And at that point I stepped back and I asked for them to call someone and I told her not to touch my, my shit. Um, and then we went to the mayor's office to let them know what happened. And they called you, I believe, to come and assist us. I can show you a brief clip of the video yeah, if you I want. Sure. Great. So like when you walk in here, if you go all the way to the back, back office on the left okay. so because it's her first day and she wasn't aware of course I decided that even though it was my right to not defend myself okay. um, because okay. she is, is a woman that, but had he uh, not yelled she would have just continued grabbing right I don't think it's acceptable that and as you can see from the video and they intervened too so yeah. right exactly and, and, and you could tell she was not well the main thing is is like you can see by the video like so I want to show you just so you had some context beforehand yeah, absolutely. everyone's really nice yeah. like we're not being jerks people even though we could we're being really, really nice, and just because she didn't want a camera, she thought the best thing to do was to assault us. And I don't like calling the police, which is why I went to the mayor's office first. Yeah. But, I mean, you're here, so... Yeah. So, uh, would you mind if I just grab some basic information from you? Uh, yeah, I'll give you basic information for, um, for a police report. Guys, sure. so when, if a police report is going to be taken, um, you do provide basic information, so that way a police report can be concluded. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Um, just to make sure I'm getting everything correctly, you would like... To me to speak to her and you're going to go forth with the court charges and everything like that correct so so just so you're aware that you'll receive a summons in court and in, in a future date i'm not sure exactly when it is but you'll have to appear as a victim you might have to appear as a witness um to fit your to support as and you can you can mail me at an address that i gave yep, you okay, absolutely okay. sir okay all right uh, so i'm now going to go in there I'm we're not going to go down room. there i'm just going to go wait in the building but since it's like sensitive i'm not going to be like up on you yeah i appreciate if you yeah. wouldn't just because i don't want yeah no, yeah, no worries we're back and, back and, and on camera there's two other additional employees that mm -hmm. made that they witnessed it too and then they, their excuse was it's her first day but there are well so I, they, they did I say that i think they were trying to like dissipate right. the situation because she knew she was wrong yeah so they just kind of like but yeah the, the two other folks i believe the chief and the deputy chief okay. so there were other witnesses that actually physically saw it sure yeah. no that's fine I'll go, i'm gonna go speak with them like i said i'm just gonna grab their basic information as well yeah okay. we're not gonna go to the office i'm just gonna walk in the building okay i'm just gonna generate a report and we'll go from there okay all right Sounds good. thank you thank all right, guys, so we gave basic information because if there is a crime that happens, um, they they literally don't have the ability to pursue a crime if there's no victim, and there can't be a victim unless they have basic information. Oh, you have a mast hat as well, huh? Yeah. Oh, Matt, okay, yeah, yeah. What do you got? Oh, feathers? I would get puppy paws, but we have a Malamana Shepherd, so they would take up most of... My arm. We'll just hang right up by these benches here. I appreciate it. Thank yeah, thank you, you Officer Salas. So we're not going to go to the office. Um, we're just going to like wait right by this corridor and wait for Officer Salas. Just keep going down all the way, ma'am. And then the uh, last left. Keep going. Yes. We'll just stay right here.
So Officer Salas is not going to play it the way that they want us to play it. She's going to explain that we're, she didn't want to be recorded, so a crime happened, and I don't think they want to pursue it. So now I want to document the incident just to make sure we get everything here on video. I just want to wait because no disrespect, you've been very nice, but I just heard you say you're not going to play it the way we want to play it. We're not trying to play it anyway. We were assaulted while being professional and courteous. Well, she grabbed she grabbed, she grabbed my hand. I understand that. That's physical. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. So it goes. Um, yeah. yeah, they're trying to protect a city employee. Go ahead. Again, government spinning things the way they want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what she said is, uh, I'm not going to play it. They want to play it. So what I'm going to tell them is like, oh, yeah, she didn't want to be filmed, and there was nothing that was, and that's a lot. That's when I started talking. And that's the thing, guys. Play it the way we want to play it. We didn't call the police. We also didn't ask to be touched. Right, exactly. And, and they spin it with, instead of a grab, which it was a grab, it was a, a push, as if that's somehow different or minimalizes it. Right, it was unwanted touching. Right. Like I said. Happened. So when she, when she comes out, I'm just going to let her explain what she finds without interruption because I want to let her, I want to I capture every single documentation for when she doesn't do anything about it. Maybe construction of some kind. I'm going to pause it, guys, so we really can't hear anything that's going on in there. Guys, you can see her hands moving. She's helping her explain, trying to explain her way out of it. That's what's happening now. Thank you so much. So now we're going to go speak to the female. Okay. Down the hall. I just, listen, I, I heard you say like, and maybe I just misinterpreted it, like, you know, I'm not going to, oh, excuse us. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to uh, play this the way they want to play it. I, like, I think you misinterpreted what I was okay, saying. Okay, because I'm not like, I know you've probably seen a couple of these videos. Absolutely. And my interaction is probably much different than other interactions you see. And we try and behave that way so these types of issues right. don't happen. No, and fine. at the end of the day, we were doing nothing but engaging in our rights, being respectful and courteous, and you know, we were touched unwantedly. Well, I was. Absolutely. So if I had misinterpreted it, because I obviously did too, how was it that you meant it then? If you said, I'm not going to play this how they want to play it, how did you mean it? And I ain't telling you exactly how I told them. 
we're going to go to court, and you guys are going to figure it out. Okay. It well, I, I was, I was up there. It's just an interesting, it's just an interesting she, sentence. What I saw is her. I didn't see what you're saying. Then grabbed, grabbed, right. and then pushed. I didn't see the grabbing. Right. But again, I know. You're I, saying that. I understand what you're so saying. That's why I said it's. I it's understand not what like you're an saying. Aggravated assault or anything I, like that. It I now you're. I understand exactly okay, what you're so saying. That's what I meant. Right. Yeah, no worries. It's not like, I understand no, what you're saying it, completely. That's why I wanted you to expand on it. Thank you. Thank you for changes. explaining. No, I appreciate I, I'm it. I'm sorry again. I no, it's fine. We were halfway, matter. quarter way down the hall, yep. so that's why I wanted to ask you about right. it. And I appreciate it. Thank you. I didn't get a final issue yet. Also, um, I was told you can't. Uh, that's why they have frosted. Uh, windows here, you can't go above the glass to see personal other people's personal. Well, just so you know, any example. any personal information, if it was to show up in the video, it would be redacted. Would. But okay. no, 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 it would be. It just would. So be you wouldn't shot. put that in there. Right. Okay. Of course not. So the right. only only reason we would be doing that is to capture the landscape yep. of the office and the people okay. inside. I watch these videos, edit them heavily. If anything on the computer or right. paperwork came up, it would be redacted, removed, blurred out. So. I appreciate that. Again, they would just brought that up to my attention. Yeah, so no worries. Like, I'll tell them. No, 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 no personal. Exactly. No personal information. All right, sounds good. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to go talk to her. Sure, again. go ahead. Private. You guys yeah. can be right here. Thank you. Private. Thank you. Yep. I mean, and I can only take her for her word on it. Um, but if what she's saying is accurate, is she was saying like it, it was it was poor word choice? But I think she's saying I'm not going to play it the way they want to play it as means of like an aggravated assault and drag her out in handcuffs. She was it was going to be something hashed out in court. I think that's what she's explaining. She, I don't know. I wasn't there. I just heard that, and then at that point decided I want to at least get a visual because, you know, no one can put their hands on you for no reason. You know what I mean? They especially can't. And I say this all the time. You know, you don't go grab somebody. Imagine if she was doing that because I was wearing a cross and she didn't like it. You don't assault somebody for any reason, let alone practicing your civil rights. And some people will accept an apology, but if she can hit somebody in a public capacity and get paid to do it, then that is unacceptable and that's something that we would get arrested for so depending on the situation maybe i'd take an apology i don't i don't think i'm really feeling like doing that today well she's not apologetic yeah, no 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 she doesn't think she did anything wrong she's getting a city paycheck she wanted to hurt somebody so she did well and the the, the employees that work alongside her doubled down and was saying it was her first day give her a pass right right i agree no one seemed sincerely apologetic for what happened right so she's in the office, guys. Can't really see anything, so again, I'm going to pause. Thank you for waiting. Of course. All right, I don't have any more uh, cards, but that's okay. my information. Thank okay. you, and that's the case number of the incident okay. that I'll be writing the report on, okay? Okay, Thank so you. Any further questions? Well, what happens from here? What happens from here is I go and I'll generate my reports and everything like that. You'll receive a summons to court as victim, witness probably, um, for assault and battery. And you'll have to appear at a certain date and time at Pittsburgh District Court. So they'll just mail me and then I can figure out everything from there? Correct. And I'm sure because it's a simple summons, it's going to be something that I, I sh I can, I'll be expecting to wait like a month or two, I'm sure. Correct. Okay. Absolutely. Correct. All right. Well, I appreciate your... Your professionalism. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you very I apologize much. for what happened earlier, and uh, no, so hopefully, I, yeah, I I understand there's like a lot of issues, you know, police and and you know people that are pro police, anti police. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to build some gaps, and of course, okay. it's much more viral if I come in, I start yelling at people and being a jerk. That oh, gets a lot not. more views. But I appreciate that. Also, the same ground when. You know, because we're so professional and we're literally just mm -hmm. like, we're not even poking for a reaction. When something like that happens, you know, it's just, it's, it's unfortunate. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's her first day. I feel like it's, it's America. Like, I feel like it doesn't even need to be taught where, like, if you're walking down the street and you say, hey, I don't like that guy or what he's doing. I'm going to go over and put my hands on him. Like, right. that shouldn't be. I have a question. If sure. You don't mind. Uh, um, like, say, for example, this incident or whatever. You're, obviously, it's a public area. You're able to do what you're able to do. If someone says, hey, I don't want to be recorded, and they kind of do this, like, 
would you guys take that into consideration? Or are you guys still going to? We don't even put our cameras in their face. That's number one. Like we stand back and. Mm -hmm. And you can even see from the camera. Like I'm yeah. now moving it back. Actually, could you email me that possibly? Yeah. That footage. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, someone, if someone, if someone, if someone asks me why I'm doing what I'm, for example, there was a guy that lost his wife, right? I didn't put him on film. No, um, she happens, if she had said to me, listen, it's my first day here and I really don't like cameras, like, do you mind? Then I would have been willing to, to maybe work with her or cut her out of the video or, or right. something like that. Also, you know, but when I'm, standing, when I'm standing there, I'm minding my own business and her first thing is to put her hand in front of my face and then when I pan my camera back to continue to put it towards me and then grab me, when, that's, that's not acceptable. Like, like at that point, like, while she, was she, she wasn't willing to not attack me. Like, why would I be willing to, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. th that's She's the thing. originally not from the States either, so... I don't know if that's a different culture type of thing, but... Maybe, I, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, depending on like what they're allowed to do and not allowed to do and wherever they're from, right. I get that. Exactly. But, but some of you guys, I will go talk to her. Yeah, okay. I mean, if she's learned from her no, mistake... No, she like, is like, I she's no apologetic. Idea. If she understands that what she did was wrong, Absolutely. then she doesn't to have to lose her job to. and her livelihood. Because that's now she's under investigation, pending criminal charges. It's her first day. She's under the 90-day probationary period. Her whole life is screwed up. Absolutely. Yeah, I would we're like not to. Looking to screw up people's lives. No, I honestly just like don't want people being assaulted for I, no reason. I don't blame you, and I really appreciate you guys actually, you know, giving them a chance and yeah, stuff like that. Won't make us for a viral video, but again, our no, pur yeah. our purpose <laughs> is no, to. Are you able to do what you want to do again? Like, let, let, let's right. give it a shot. If she'd like but, to, yeah. and I'm not gonna like needle her and be like, no. just if she would like to come out and apologize Absolutely. for what she did, would I will be. Just go over that's there fine. And say that you know, you guys want to speak to her in regards and she, yeah. she's, honestly, right. she's like, I had no idea. Yeah. I won't even hold the camera. I'll leave it right here so it's yeah. not oh, like that's so that way in her face. face. I mean, we will record the apology. Absolutely. But, uh, that would be that's awesome. That's honestly yeah. awesome. Hold one second, guys. Okay. Right? Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm learning something from Leroy. Like, because here's how this plays out, okay? Now, she's not from this country. Don't know what country she's from, but if she's escaping tyranny to come here, I give. I got a chance right here to teach you how it works in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Fern. So, yeah, it's, it's, an, it's a teaching moment. And then they can deal with uh, deal with her in-house as far as anything. And I wasn't going to do it. I never did it. She took all the information. It's just, when she said she's from another country, I only imagine, like, wherever she's from, you know, like, I they, no they idea. yeah, and it's just like the incident with Leroy at the library. You know what I mean? And I was I saying, I was saying, if someone put their hands on me, they're getting charged. But when you, I guess each, each well, interaction... Oh, it was, it's just, she was, it was just about to happen. She goes, she's from a different country. And I was thinking to myself... All the people overseas that are being ruled under by an iron fist that escape here to, to try and understand what freedom is. Well, let's give them a lesson of freedom, a free lesson. Obviously, when they did citizenship, she, she wasn't paying attention to the exam on the U.S. Constitution, the history of this nation, <laughs> but proud and, and happy to provide that. That's right. Unless she doesn't want to apologize. Well, she did, uh, I mean, the officer did say that uh, she, did, she had no idea. She didn't know. And yeah, the officer said, I paused for a second just because I, I wanted it to be genuine that I'm offering this. And she goes, oh, yeah, she had no clue. Like, she's very upset. She feels awful. So she did say the woman felt, like, really, really bad. I just, you know, I mean, who knows where she's from? I don't know. It, I mean, originally, initially, people didn't seem apologetic, but that could have been because she didn't know the rules. Like, depending on where she's from, maybe it's defend yourself first. And then no, I think like, wherever she's from, it could likely be some place where, like, if you speak out against the government, you know, you, you never know. Right. You never know. Right. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Do you guys want us? Yeah. You want us to come in here? Yeah. Okay. If you guys don't oh, mind. Here? Yeah, no problem. I'm just gonna leave this right here. Yeah, well, I'll stand right here. You guys can do your thing. I don't, I don't know where where you're from. I'm oh. from the Netherlands. From the Netherlands. Here at we, we this country is a beautiful place to live, and you know I like to think that what I do helps defend our constitution, the same as Officer Salison. 
We don't want to leave people being like in fear and it's your first day. Mm -hmm. This happens, charges pending, there's an internal investigation, you lose your job, even if you make a tell you feel awful about this. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to see any charges or any police action happen to you. I just want to let you know that we don't mean any harm. There's a, a camera is never, at least in my hands, never here to hurt you. You seem like a lovely person. So I don't want to press charges. I'd like to use this as a teaching moment where we can work together and welcome to our country. And I hope you have a long, a long successful career here. Thank you, I owe that to you. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was, apparently it was okay to film people. I didn't know that. And that's why I wanted to, to chat with you because okay. you shouldn't be held responsible for something you don't know where we you know so i i do appreciate it officer Sam, no, i appreciate you, you for offering this i it's huge thank you i mean i think we we need to do some steps to try and make our respective ends come a little bit closer and I, I, this, I agree with you so i hope you have a great day and welcome uh, to and also, this beautiful country i'm not going <laughs> to file a complaint as well with the mayor i'm going to um give them a call so there's no more you guys have work to do I'm going to give them a call and let them know that everything was hashed out. We appreciate your professionalism and your humanism. So as far as I'm concerned, this is where it ends. Okay, great. Okay? Thank you. Thank have a great you. Day. you Take too. care. Have a better rest of your day. Thanks. Thank you, miss. And good luck and have a, yeah, welcome. Good luck with everything in your future here, okay? Have a good day. Better day. Yeah, I appreciate you facilitating. No, well, I appreciate you doing what you, you what you did. That's huge. I mean, um, you could tell she was very sorry. Oh, she was bawling her eyes out. So and, yeah. Um, I'm going to pause for a second, guys. Just to be honest with you, trust me, I know things can well, go wherever you guys want to go with it, but the fact you guys have a heart, too. You guys care. You're not, you're, like you said, you have a job to do. You just want to show the world like what the real world is about. Well, so. and if she's she's just lucky she put her hands on the right one. If oh, she had perfect. put her, yeah, if she had put her hands on the wrong one, there there's a guy that does this. Nope. He yeah. he just he punched a woman out the other day. Oh really? Because she no. assaulted him, spit in his face. Oh, he was defending I don't like himself. The spitting. No, he, well, was, we took, he was completely defending himself, but he doesn't put his hands on women, and that's the difference. Like I explained that to, to the kids when they moved down here. Like there was bullies in the playground, and they in California where they where they picked on. And I said, "You come to Massachusetts, it doesn't matter if you're if you're a geek or whatever. If a boy puts their hands on you, everyone's it should be that way as well." And, or just in general, or you just I, don't I agree with hands you too. What uh, she did wasn't right. And I know? wasn't in like the, the other thing is like I understand the law. I wasn't in immediate fear of imminent mm -hmm. danger. I don't want any unwanted touch, but at the same time, I, I didn't need to defend myself. Like, I think that each person should take a second and look at their situation and say, you know, do I need to put my hands on someone else? Or am I only doing it because they did it first? And if that's the case, how is what we're doing better than what they're doing? Right. No, so. I, I, I'm with you on that one. And like I said, luckily with your recordings and um, those other workers, knew that what she did wasn't right so that's why right. they kind of were like hey that's why yeah. immediately you know like, like they're able stay. to do that and, and that's part like, of it too oh, like wait. represent representation of the town of Fitchburg okay. right like it's so easy okay. for one person's mistake to overshadow a 35 minute a positive which everything was super positive so yeah. that's the other reason I was taking that into consideration I'm not moving forward on, on any charges because they know. They know what the First Amendment is. They know they couldn't control her actions, but they de-escalated. I think this is the best outcome. Maybe not well, as viral, which I, sucks for them, but this is why we do what we do. Um, yeah, she's like, I hate my pictures taken. I don't think I look. You know, I, I don't, don't like, like my picture taken either. Neither do I, to be right. honest. But you know what? It is what it is in today's world. But like I get, like I said, I appreciate you guys for what you did. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got me on camera most of the time, and I absolutely hate it. But like, it, no, it kind of. I it, taught it, myself it, how to position my head so they don't see my quadruple chin. He was taking, oh, yeah, yeah. He was taking selfies with our one-year-old puppy today. You gotta do like and he's, he was yeah. like, he was like... <laughs> really? Yeah. A, I got, we got a German Shepherd and a Malinois, and they're like super goofy, and one thinks she's a person, and she's super quirky. Yeah, yeah. so they were taking selfies. But oh, they're oh, so those fun. Are cute. And, and I want a big dog, but it's too much. He's too much. My German, <laughs> Germans are great. They're so awesome. <laughs> they're they're family Eventually dogs. I will. They are family dogs. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of like people look at them like police dogs. Scary and, and no, military. they're like sitting on your lap. They think they're lap dogs. Lap dog. I mean, she gets super protective and human. defensive. Absolutely. I believe that. They, that's what they are for. But anymore. other than that, it's like a big... She does. She thinks yeah. she's a human. Yeah. I mean, she was standing and staring out the door just like a human. She had a birthday looking. party. That's crazy. <laughs> I love that. I get birthday parties for my dog, too. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. I'm like, mm, no. 
Yeah, they're, they're a family too. Absolutely. There's just as much people as us. Well, again, I really appreciate yeah, And this you guys. is great. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah. No, I think absolutely. it's important to people to see that you're a human being. We were able to like maybe this a law maybe a law was broken, but we are still people and there's ways around it. And I think this provides more education than her losing everything. Like that would make me feel terrible. It might no. upset a lot of people to not see her go out in handcuffs, but I mean Probably. we're here for, for a real. greater good, yeah, not absolutely. viral video. I like to think that in Massachusetts specifically we don't have as many problems as other states do, but that's just my opinion. Far less, mostly in the state police. Correct. But so, the big cities are small towns, especially yeah. for what I've seen traveling the country. I, I mean, I rarely. I, I haven't left very far. California's bad. I've been doing this for a while too, and I've never, I get people emailing me constantly. This is a bad place, this is a bad place. I've never gotten one email from from these surrounding areas, uh -huh. Fitchburg, Pepperell, Lunenburg, never. Never, oh, well that's a good thing. I like, because Fitchburg is kind of like a, Dirty it's a city. yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, we're right. We're so close to New Hampshire. Yeah, and all the you know flowing. Mm -hmm. you know, what's going on? <laughs> I think. It's, yeah. I mean, I know that it's like one of the dirtier cities. Yes. but it's beautiful. So well, the problem is, it's a country, <laughs> but it's got it's got a huge drug problem because, like you said, it's all coming down from, and that part of New Hampshire is not like Salem. It's it's all funneling in. And so we're like a good center middle, like yep. Worcester is kind of and stuff like that from. Yep. A good waypoint, and it's built up and built down. So there's yeah, a yeah. ton of broken down, abandoned yeah, right. buildings and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So that exactly. New York yeah. cops are bad too. Yeah, I've seen videos and stuff. And... <laughs> Listen, there's, like, there's good in that. There That's is. There Listen, is. I had a doctor that uh, I, I heard a story about from my friend. Yep. The doctor had to draw an arrow on his finger because they operated on the wrong one. There's good, there's bad doctors. There's really? good and bad yeah, everything. There's good yeah. Bad and everybody. That is true. And but I we appreciate, appreciate it absolutely. Today. Again. Good luck. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate what you guys Have did. a good day. I hope you have a good rest of your day. You Bye. too. Take it easy. Be safe. So, and I want to explain to you guys. That I want to explain to you guys, like, so, if that was just some city official that knew what the First Amendment was, and you could see that woman was in tears, and she just doesn't know, like, where she's from, that gave us an opportunity to educate her and not steal her livelihood. Uh, her first day... You know, she's on a 90-day probationary period, could be six months, uh, where they can terminate her without cause. During that time, her benefits also don't kick until kick in until when that probationary period is over as well. So, what what does more here? Um, and you know, I kind of feel like a hypocrite a little bit because I've always said someone puts their hands on me, they're getting charged. Like Patricia Pacheco in um, in Ridgefield, Connecticut. You know, we we had her charged immediately but she was from here she worked for the city she knew what she was doing was wrong this woman didn't know what she was doing was wrong um, and instead of stealing her entire livelihood as a human being it it, it wasn't it wasn't what I was gonna do so we learn I just I couldn't do it to her I'll catch you in the next one subscribe to Banana Rana and that's the reason I stopped you today